welcome to another edition of Progressive Retail. I'm your host, Corey Mosley. Today, I want to share with you a concept that I've talked about for many years, a concept that in the competitive landscape, I think is very, very important to think about. All too often, when we're engaging with a customer, we treat our customer traditionally like they're the only person in the room, like they're the only person in front of us, on the phone, or online. But as we know, we're probably living through one of the most competitive marketplaces that we've ever seen. Let's face it, many of the vehicles look very similar, most of your dealerships are under construction or have beautiful new facilities, or you've got a manufacturer highly suggesting that you go under construction. Nonetheless, we're in a situation where consumers have more choices than they ever have had before. Sometimes the obvious choice or that high retention that you've come to count on at your dealership is eroding away slowly or for some of us more rapidly. If you happen to be one of the brands that are up significantly over the past five years, then of course that business is coming from somewhere. It's not simply coming from people who have just entered the market. So I want you to think and I want to share this concept with you. The concept I call me plus three. What the me plus three rule states is that every action that you're taking, you have to take that action with the understanding and the belief that there's at least three other dealers taking that same action. This is very important in our internet and BDC departments because for many of you, you have a responsibility and a monotonous job, nonetheless, to contact customers at a high volume rate. For you, you have to make call number 72 sound just as effective as call number one. And many times, we're so focused on getting through our script or getting through our spiel, as I like to call it, that we lose sight of the fact that our consumers are on the other end and they have a ton of options. When leaving that voicemail, are you just trying to get through the call? Or are you trying to have an impact to generate a callback? Me plus three also states that this idea that a customer may be visiting your showroom or be calling your dealership, but also speaking with other dealers. Uniquely in the consulting and training field, I have the opportunity to listen to phone calls from all over the country, from dealerships, uh, from all brands. And we're always learning new information as we listen to the behavior of customers because the behavior changes as your customer gets access to more and more information. As they believe there's a better deal, as they believe there's something that they might be missing if they don't just shop one more dealer. So having said that, how do you treat the incoming phone call in your store? How do you treat the customer that comes on the lot? Do we treat them as if they are just another up or do we take the approach that chances are someone has spoken to them already or will speak to them after you do? See, in this world of progressive retail, our goal is very simple. We want to have an influence, and we want to be able to get where the customer is going, but predict it and be there first. So I'm challenging you to think about me plus three when you take your next action with a customer. Is that voicemail exciting? Does it give them a reason to call back? Are you excited to see a customer walk through that door or just happy that you've got a shot at selling a car? If you sell a brand that customers are, are ultimately already interested in a high retention brand already, how has your demeanor changed now that it's a more competitive landscape? Do you treat that customer like they're going to be talking to someone else? So I challenge the viewers, I challenge my progressive retail viewers to think about how the Me Plus 3 strategy can work in your internet department, in your BDC, on your showroom floor, and on the telephone. I love your feedback and also please make sure you're communicating with us and visit our all new website MosleyAutomotive.com where you can get information on free resources that we have available to help dealers sell more cars, period. As always, I want to thank you for tuning into the show and we welcome your show ideas and your tips. Just submit them right on our website. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Progressive Retail. I'm your host, Corey Mosley, and I'll see you next week. We'll